Now this is the history of the generations of Aaron and Moses in the day that Yahweh spoke with Moses in Mount Sinai. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, Nadab the firstborn, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, the priests who were anointed, whom he consecrated to minister in the priest's office. Nadab and Abihu died before Yahweh when they offered strange fire before Yahweh in the wilderness of Sinai, and they had no children. Eleazar and Ithamar ministered in the priest's office in the presence of Aaron, their father. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Bring the tribe of Levi near, and set them before Aaron the priest, that they may minister to him. They shall keep his requirements and the requirements of the whole congregation before the tent of meeting to do the service of the tabernacle. They shall keep all the furnishings of the tent of meeting and the obligations of the children of Israel to do the service of the tabernacle. You shall give the Levites to Aaron and to his sons. They are wholly given to him on the behalf of the children of Israel. You shall appoint Aaron and his sons and they shall keep their priesthood. But the stranger who comes near shall be put to death. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Behold, I have taken the Levites from among the children of Israel, instead of all the firstborn who opened the womb among the children of Israel. And the Levites shall be mine, for all the firstborn are mine. On the day that I struck down all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I made holy to me all the firstborn in Israel, both man and animal. They shall be mine. I am Yahweh. Yahweh spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, saying, Count the children of Levi by their fathers' houses, by their families, you shall count every male from a month old and upward. Moses counted them according to Yahweh's word as he was commanded. These were the sons of Levi by their names, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. These are the names of the sons of Gershon by their families, Libni and Shimei. The sons of Kohath by their families, Amram, Izar, Hebron, and Uziel. The sons of Merari by their families, Mali and Mushi. These are the families of the Levites according to their fathers' houses. Of Gershon was the family of the Libnites and the family of the Shimeites. These are the families of the Gershonites. Those who were counted of them according to the number of all the males from a month old and upward, even those who were counted of them were 7,500. The families of the Gershonites shall encamp behind the tabernacle westward. Eliasaph, the son of Lael, shall be the prince of the father's house of the Gershonites. The duty of the sons of Gershon in the tent of meeting shall be the tabernacle, the tent, its covering, the screen for the door of the tent of meeting, 
the hangings of the court, the screen for the door of the court, which is by the tabernacle around the altar, and its cords for all of its service. Of Kohath was the family of the Amramites, the family of the Israelites, the family of the Hebronites, and the family of the Uzielites. These are the families of the Kohathites. According to the number of all the males from a month old and upward, there were 8,600 keeping the requirements of the sanctuary. The families of the sons of Kohath shall encamp on the south side of the tabernacle. The prince of the father's house of the families of the Kohathites shall be Elizaphan, the son of Uziel. Their duty shall be the ark, the table, the lampstand, the altars, the vessels of the sanctuary with which they minister, the screen, and all its service. Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest, shall be prince of the princes of the Levites, with the oversight of those who keep the requirements of the sanctuary. Of Merari was the family of the Malites, and the family of the Mushites. These are the families of Merari. Those who were counted of them, according to the number of all the males from a month old and upward, were 6,200. The prince of the father's house of the families of Merari was Zuriel, the son of Abihail. They shall encamp on the north side of the tabernacle. The appointed duty of the sons of Merari shall be the tabernacle's boards, its bars, its pillars, its sockets, all its instruments, all its service, the pillars of the court around it, their sockets, their pins, and their cords. Those who encamp before the tabernacle eastward in front of the tent of meeting toward the sunrise shall be Moses with Aaron and his sons, keeping the requirements of the sanctuary for the duty of the children of Israel. The outsider who comes near shall be put to death. All who were counted of the Levites, whom Moses and Aaron counted at the commandment of Yahweh, by their families, all the males from a month old and upward, were 22,000. Yahweh said to Moses, Count all the firstborn males of the children of Israel from a month old and upward, and take the number of their names. You shall take the Levites for me, I am Yahweh, instead of all the firstborn among the children of Israel, and the livestock of the Levites instead of all the firstborn among the livestock of the children of Israel. Moses counted as Yahweh commanded him, all the firstborn among the children of Israel. All the firstborn males according to the number of names from a month old and upward. Of those who were counted of them were 22,200 73. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Take the Levites instead of all the firstborn among the children of Israel, and the livestock of the Levites 
instead of their livestock, and the Levites shall be mine. I am Yahweh. For the redemption of the 273 of the firstborn of the children of Israel, who exceed the number of the Levites, you shall take five shekels apiece for each one, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. You shall take them, the shekel is twenty geras, and you shall give the money with which the remainder is redeemed to Aaron and to his sons. Moses took the redemption money from those who exceeded the number of those who were redeemed by the Levites. From the firstborn of the children of Israel he took the money, one thousand three hundred sixty-five shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. And Moses gave the redemption money to Aaron and to his sons, according to Yahweh's word, as Yahweh commanded Moses.